Hello, so in this video I'm going to be quickly going over the basics of all the stuff you need to know to be able to get stronger on Sword of Shadows. So first of all, let me bring your attention to the bonuses and events tab at the very top. You can see an exclamation mark next to them which means that there's something that can be done in that location. So if you see those exclamation marks, make sure you check them out to see what it is that you can do there. So let's click on the bonuses. Now the first thing you want to do is click on the rich rods. And I've already claimed them today, but every day you'll be able to claim these stuff individually. Or you can click at the a tab that will, well a little box that opens up here that will allow you to claim all of them. Click on silver and claim them all as silver. I don't bother spending bound gold on, bound gold on it, I just use the um, bound silver. Which um, obviously allows you to use the bound gold for other stuff like Lucky Wheel. So the first thing you want to do every day, click on that and claim all of those bonuses. Well, all the retrievals. Then check all these other tabs out, like you've got the check-in here. Which allows me to claim there's 20 gold for today. And then this is a bonus that I get because I pay um, a monthly prescription top-up thing. So every... So every certain amount of days I buy the free season top up card which allows me to claim this. And you can claim some other stuff as well, like um these you can claim when you've uh, been on live for a certain amount of time and all that stuff. Um then you've got other stuff, so make sure you look through them and see what you can get. For what uh, for the first time only you'll be able to buy um a growth fund. If you buy that for £50, you're able to claim all of this, but you can only claim that one time only. Then you've got the events tab. So you can go on that, and for today, I can claim this, which gives me this stuff, which is enhancement packs. And then I also get cloud runes, which allows me to attempt to get some different gems. And I'll be going through in more detail later on in the video about that stuff. So make sure you claim all these rewards every day. And then when you've completed a certain amount of tasks on this every day, you'll be able to open these up. Which claims you a certain amount of rewards. If you have a look at them before, the, um, before you've reached the acquired amount to open them, it'll show you what they'll give you. And to make sure you do enough stuff to be able to get them, all these here will gain you points to be able to get them. So, for example, I've done um, I've done the equivalent of 10 points worth of school challenge. So if I do some more, I can fill that up to 20, and that'll give me 20 points to add on to here. This is already at about 30 points, so... Um, with another 10, I'd be able to open that. And then with another 20, I'd be able to open that. And then with another 20 on top of that, I'd be able to open that, and so on and so forth. Right, next thing you want to do is claim anything that's in here. You might have some valuable stuff, like here I've got um, 3,800 gold from selling Priest. And a few other stuff that you can pick up. These are weapons and armors that I've picked up through doing adventures. So what I would do, because if I open some of these, I'll probably say that my inventory is full. So what I do is I'll go to craft, discard, and I'll throw away all the equipment that I don't need, which is everything that I've got a tick on. My current equipment that I'm using are all gold, so I can get rid of all these without worrying about accidentally getting rid of equipment that I need. And my game is very laggy. After doing that, you want to go to your bag, and then you want to have a look, see if these are full or not. I've got enough space in this one, 
have a look in items there's not much here so i click sort and it'll automatically bring to the front the stuff that i can open and obviously by opening them you'll clear some space you can also use bound gold to increase your space and i'll show you how to do that now so you see these padlocks, they in indicate that there's um, a slot there, but I'd need to buy it. So if I spent 55 bang gold now, I'd open up one more slot. If I clicked right at this one, this would open all the slots before it. That's all of these, that row, which will cost 275 bang gold. So that's how you increase your slots. Once you've opened up and cleared enough space, for the rest of these then just click on extract all and it'll pull all of them out and then once this little loading bit finished then click extract all again if you don't get a message popping up saying that uh, there's not enough space then it means you've claimed everything so if we have a look through there's no mark next to them which means i've claimed everything so then i can delete so now i know that there's nothing for me to claim in there Right, what's next? After going through all that, the next thing I want you to do is make sure every day you do two auto loots in here. They only stack up to two, so if I don't do any today and I try tomorrow, I'll only be able to do two. So make sure you don't miss out on these. Clear to the highest floor that you can by doing the challenge, and then when you're the highest one that you can, just use the auto loots. You can click on the screen around the box to skip this loading thing, but I think I'll let it load so you can see roughly what you're getting per day when you've got up to the floor that I've got to. It also gives you an idea of the types of stuff you're missing out on if you're not claiming them daily. So it's very important that you claim these daily. And now I'm trying to make this video as quick as I can, but unfortunately some of this stuff does take time, which is why it's a bit of a pain to go through everything to each individual person over and over again, so I might as well get it out of the way. So in this case, I got 900 and something cloth. I've got two of those, and I've got one of those. The items that you get from here are bound, so you won't be able to trade them, but if you need them, they'll be able to increase your martial arts and internals. As well as your cloak, that's what these cloths are for. Let's run the second one. Come on, hurry up. Come oh on, this is boring. And this time I claimed all of this by auto looting all the floors that I've already passed so far.
Right, the next thing I want to make sure you do every day, make sure you complete these school challenges. You'll get loads of cultivation stuff for upgrading your martial arts and internals. Well, for cultivating your martial arts and internals. Which is basically, you click on that tab at the top. You can click on the equipped. And then you can put in some skills that you need to strengthen. For example, I believe I might have some in Gambler that I haven't upgraded yet. So let's click on that. Yeah. And I'm just going to throw some of those in and some of those in. They cost cultivation points. If you want to know where to get different things from, if you see the plus icon next to it, all you've got to do is, well, when it works... Is click on it and it'll show you all the places you can get them from. So if you're struggling to find out where to get different things from, this is the best way to find out. And it'll show you all the different places where you can get them from. So wall, um, you can go to Warzone or School Challenge or Masters Challenge, Charity Place, which is a place where you can buy it from. So if you click on it, these are them and it shows you you can spend these to get them. You can obtain charity points by uh, doing martial law or by helping people with um, their uh, main quest. The, um, what's it called, let me check. The um, story instance. When people send a request to help them on a story and you help them, you'll be able to claim some of those rewards. These are adventure instances, but a story instance will come up Something like this, Chapter 7, Act 1. So if I help somebody out with that, which they've probably already done now, but if I click the red, when it works, if I click that, it'll say the team doesn't exist at the moment. But when somebody makes a team and you click on it quick enough, when they've made it, um, you'll be able to join the team and claim charity points for um, story instances. Right, the next thing I want you to do is to go to story instances... Get to the highest chapter you can do and do these auto loots. Now, the best thing to do is make sure you auto loot for the items that you need. So, in my case, I'll click strengthening, click forging, and you'll see what items are needed to upgrade different materials. So, I need some of these. So, if I click on that and I click get, it'll show me, it'll bring up the story instances as well as other places I can obtain them from. And then I just go to the uh, the last one, which is the highest one that I have open at the moment. Click go, and this will be, I think, chapter 7, act 1, or something like that, or chapter 8, act 1. And then I click the 10, and use that, and it'll get me loads of those bags, as well as some of the materials that I need. And then you open those, these um, bag things in your backpack, and you'll get loads of those materials. Then after you've gotten loads of them, you can go to, um, let me show you, bear with me. After you've collected them and opened them, if you need a higher upgrade than what you've got, you can click on crafting, synthetics, and this is forging. So I'll click on forging, and I've got, for example, 183 of these, but I need these ones. So what you do... You click on them and you craft them together to create that one. And then you craft those together to create them. So on and so forth until you've got the ones that you want. So I'll just keep combining them. And then that gives me some more of them. So now I'm at seven of them. And then I can open the ones I've just obtained and create some more. So make sure you do that every day. The next thing I want you to do... After you've done your two auto loots in your endless dungeon, you'll be able to click on your character, click on cloak, and upgrade your cloak. I'm going to add to cert at the moment. I'm going to haven't got enough at the moment. Right, I need a few, a couple hundred to upgrade that, but you can use those things to upgrade your cloak. That's what they're for. The next thing I want you to do is, let me think, let me think. Go to your guild, do your donations, do those events that are in the guild. 
And then after you've completed, well, it's from cleaning downwards. Hang on. Let me show you again. Oh. I'm not trying to go to anything else. Come on, wait. Get off. Stop, stop, stop. Right. So you go to guild events, and these are stuff that only the master can order to do, like master's challenge and that. But from cleaning downwards, you can do those to gain more rewards for the guild. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to go to school and fractions, click on fraction, water palace, daily, and complete. Well, go to all of these and activate everyone. That way, when you take part in Sky Arena, you also gain um, quest completion for the Sky Arena quest from this place. Because one of the quests is um, go to Sky Arena. So once you've gone to Sky Arena, you've completed that quest. But if you haven't taken the quest before you go to Sky Arena, then obviously you won't get the completion. And this video is dragging in a little bit longer than I thought. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So there's that one there and that one here. And then there's two more across on the other side. So from there onwards, you just run across here. And claim his, as well as all the others. So there's four here, two on the other side. Once you've done that, enter Sky Arena. You can do this three times to claim this. Enter it for five times to claim some more of those. And there's a total of eight. So if you go in there eight times to Sky Arena and you lose eight times, you'll still be able to claim these. It doesn't matter if you win or lose. Make sure you claim them daily because they're very handy. You'll need them for your internals. The next thing I want you to do is go to Shop. Go to this one and claim 10 of these a day. You're going to need them for upgrading your internal skills. Your internal skills are located in cultivation, internal skills. And the pills are used for this. Now these are gold pills, so what you do is you combine the green pills to create blue, then combine the blue pills to create purple, and so on and so forth. The same way as I did with forging. And that's all done in the crafting. So you go crafting, synthetics, internal skills, pills, and then I combine, combine the green to create blue, combine the blue to create purple, combine the purple to create the gold. Quite simple, really. Right, what's next that I need to go through? Right, internal gems. These are internal gems, and these are like level, these are like gold level 3 and level 4 upwards. So this is gold level 3, and the weakest ones I've got on here is gold level 1. But you can get other internals as well, which are like, they look like broken internals, and I'll show you what they're like here. They're like these. And when you collect a certain amount of shards, you can create one. So let's see what we've got. The only one I can create right now is this one. So I'm going to create this one now just to show you. And then that will appear in your items. So if I scroll across, and I'll try to do this without covering up the speaker. You'll see it there. Now, because it's a low-grade one, I don't need it, so I can destroy it. And if you destroy it, you get these stuff, which are required for upgrading them. So, when you get them, you can equip it simply by going to any of these. So, I'll start off on the first one, click on the left side, and I click where. And it'll tell me that I've already got the highest grade equipped. So, it won't let me equip it. Same as on here. And if you try that for both the uh, for all of your internals, both left side and right side, and you can't equip it, then it means that you don't need it. So now you know you don't need it because this is a purple, and all the ones I've got equipped are gold, anyways. 
I can just click on it and destroy it and that'll give me some that gave me 500 allegiance you can get 50,000 al well whatever it's called is it allegiance or I can never pronounce it adjate or whatever I can't pronounce that but you can get 50,000 of them by doing martial law martial law is found in this tab and in is it adventures no hang on where's martial law now this one isn't it the the top tab so then click on that i have 20 to do a day and you'll collect these and you get up to fifty thousand of them by completing all 20. make sure you do them daily because missing out on fifty thousand of those is obviously a big loss every day so now you've completed all of that there's not really much that you need to do. If you have time, do these. You'll get on Ben Silver. Not much of them, but you do get on Ben Silver. You get equipment that you can break down to upgrade your companions. So let's quickly go into that by doing your adventures. So do adventures. You'll get loads of these. Break them down, and you'll get all of this stuff. Like I get one thousand seven. I get one thousand seven hundred and forty nine of these stuff. And then I get 150 of these by breaking this lot down. And then I get some of these as well. And then you can use these on your equipment by going to strengthening. Is this for you? Oh, is it for your equipment or not? No, I take for your equipment, is it? Let me just show it for again. First of all, for companions. So you can upgrade your companions' equipment. So you click on companions, click training, click equipment, and you can upgrade these using these stuff. And this obviously increases your companions might and stats a little bit. So you can see I'm at eight, I'm at 16, 850, so do that again, and it goes up to 79 at the end. So yeah, that's another thing that you need to know how to do. There is something else you can use them for, but I forgot what that was. Hang on, let me just check. Oh, that's it, crafting. You can also use them for crafting equipment. Because I'm trying to create the strongest ones, I'd have to have these as well. And then you can use those stuff for creating those equipments. I'm not going to bother with that right now. So I think I've gone through most of the stuff. The next thing you need to know is Material Palace. You want to make sure you do these daily. You get what you get a free one once every 24 hours. And I've also got two tokens in there. So do those daily. These you can only get access to by collecting cloud runes. Um, you can collect them from your dailies, like uh, from your rewards. I think I already collected some today at the beginning of the video. So that's where I got my fire from for that. The next thing you want to do is check your shadow tombs. And use these to obtain more companions. As well as the stuff to upgrade your companions. This is for EXP. This is for altitude. And this is for changing companions altitudes. And you can, you can find all that stuff if you click on your companion. Click on train. And then here's the altitude, which basically allows you to increase increase their stats. This reset allows you to reset these. So you see it's got normal, perfect, excellent. You can reset it until you until you eventually get something like excellent, 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 or something like that. Normal's the smallest bar. Excellent, I think, is one of the highest bars. So the higher the um bar, the more you can fill it up to. So if you max normal. And then you reset that and then it becomes excellent. The bar will increase. If I max excellent and I reset it uh, and it dropped to say normal, 
the amount that I can put in there would be decreased. Sorry, I haven't got time for that right now. I'm doing a video. Chaos, so I'm going to have to miss out on that for a bit. Right, doing chaos will allow you to gain rewards such as stuff to upgrade your um, divine weapon. So you'll gain some smelt and all that stuff. So you can gain some of those stuff as well as some other stuff. Now you can gain some more of these divine weapons by clicking on go to adventure and go and doing heaven smasher or doing hell smasher to gain divine weapons and smelts remember to check in on them and do them as and when you can and that's pretty much most of the basic that i can think of that you need to know make sure you do all your tasks the main task that you really need to do that's really important is martial law. Do um, your uh, story instances, auto loots. Do your endless dungeons. Oh, um, do your team practice as well for Chi. You're going to need that. If you're a lower left, you'll need it for EXP. But if you have level 80, you'll still need that for Chi. What Chi is for, it's to upgrade this. So I've upgraded that one and maxed. I've maxed that one and I'm working on this one at the moment. And you just click on them and you just put those in. That one was a fail this time. Uh, at this level it costs 1000 chi to upgrade these till you've maxed them all. So yeah, that's what that's for. And I think that's everything you need to know. I wouldn't also remember to upgrade your skills and compa uh, skills which costs the paper. You can buy them from the trade. You can sell the ones you don't need so that you can buy the ones you do need. So I could buy some of them if I wanted to, but I won't bother. Also, you want to click on martial arts, comprehension or whatever it is, comprehensive, and you want to... After claiming the ret retrievals, I showed you the claiming the um, bonuses and events at the beginning of the video. You want to use the siege tokens to claim this every day. That's your gem pack and it will allow you to obtain the gem shards to create gems. As well as um, the AJT or whatever it's called for upgrading the gems. And then claim these as well. You can also get more gems by doing world tour and then spending, you get these winnings if you place high enough and then you can spend those on buying level 3, I think these are level 3 gems. So that's how you can get a load of level 3 gems from that. You can also get some more basic gems by doing royal, royal treasure. By doing these you'll be able to get gems, gem shards as well as stuff for upgrading gems. If you can, complete all of these, then everything in here, then everything in here, and everything in here every day. But if you can't, just focus on the ones that I've ta that I've mentioned to you. Do team practice, do martial law, do endless dungeon. Do these as well, which allows you to get beast stuff. They're quite important as well. And yeah, would if as long as you follow what I've gone through in the video, you should start to figure out the game and do okay so hopefully this helps i know it's quite a long drag video but i haven't really got time to go into every little thing in detail so if this helps like comment and subscribe and to be honest i just did this because a lot of people keep bugging me about wanting to the other so hopefully this helps bye